All right, well, what's up, guys? I figured I'd do something a little different this time and compare exotics within their uh, weapon type category. And for this one, I chose to do the Sorrows Regime versus the Hard Light. And there's, a, there's, a, there's an obvious winner. I'm just going to start off with that. But I do like Hard Light a lot, and I think it's underrated. And it should actually be a little bit better than what it is. But I'll get to why I think it should be a little bit better than what it is uh, in, in a little bit. But I would like to give Hard Light, uh, you know, some consideration. Uh, first off, I wreck with this gun. I love it. It's got a really good rate of fire. Uh, the stability kind of sucks at first, but if you choose the third, um, the third ballistic option, the skill tree, and you choose the uh, fitted stock for increased stability, it's still controllable. Even though it'll say like the stability is maxed out, though, it still has quite a bit of recoil. So I. I don't really get the weapon chart there, and it also has considerably more damage than a regular Shinjin uh, type assault rifle. And by Shinjin type assault rifles, I mean the ones that uh, have the high rate of fire and decent impact with good stability, uh, and not the ones with the extreme rate of fire and no stability uh, and no impact either. Um, I refer to those as the Sahara type just because of the beta. When there was the uh, what was it, the Sidonia, the Shinjin, and then the Sahara, and those are the three different types of assault rifles. So I consider them by uh, I refer to them. I mean by those different uh, beta weapons, just because most people that they kind of get what I'm saying. Its exotic ability is useless. I've never been like, thank God, my assault rifle shoots through people and bounces off walls. It's never been useful, but I love the weapon. It looks awesome. I love the sound effects of it, and I love the way it shoots out light rather than just regular bullets. Um, other than that, though, it's not really exotic. You're forced to use one of your perks to reduce or to increase the uh, stability. I don't like being forced to use a perk. Otherwise, the gun is just going to be all over the place. Um, and... It's got really bad range. It's like an SMG in an SMG-less game. And even at close range, it gets beat out because of the shotguns and last words that are running around. And then you've got the fusion rifles. So it really doesn't have much of a place in this game, but I love the gun. And I wreck face with it. And that's why I really wanted to include it in this video because I got some really good gameplay with it. And um, it, 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 it works on it works really well on certain maps, but if you're going to use it on some of the more open maps, I, I definitely just don't even consider it. Um, but as for the Soros regime, I never gave it a solo exotic review, so I'll give it one here. Soros uh, has uh, the ballistics aren't really that important. They're not going to change that much because the gun stability is already amazing. Uh, I don't like the ability where it slows down the rate of fire for extra damage. I actually like the gun unupgraded better when it has a higher rate of fire. But both of them work pretty well. And of course the exotic ability for the Sorrows Regime is that uh, it has a random chance to heal you or trigger health regeneration which is really useful for like Crota hard mode. Um, it's really easy to get headshots with this weapon because it fires so slowly that it, the gun is just so easily controllable. Um, they did nerf it though a little bit. It's it's uh, I think it half the magazine doesn't get as amplified as it used to. Uh, it's more in line with other assault rifles, but it's still a pretty top tier weapon. It will beat out most of the other assault rifles. It's amazing at long range. It has the perk to increase the range and accuracy on it. You can put staggering rounds on it. Although I'm not really sure if those really work all that well in the Crucible. I would really love to test it. Um, I use it on the Red Death every now and then, the staggered rounds, to see if it helps. And I, f I feel like it does kind of throw them off your face for like a slight second, but I'm not sure if it's actually like a viable option. And then you can get the uh, plus two agility, which is another modifier that I don't really think is that useful. But the thing about the Soros versus the uh, Hard Light is that you can use any of its modifiers that you want because its stability is already controllable. You don't have to compensate for anything on this gun, you can just use you can use the plus two agility if you want. Ultimately, I'm gonna give the Saros a nine, the same as what I gave the last word, and then I'm gonna keep Hard Light at a seven point five out of ten because I love the gun and I I personally do really good with it, but it does have its like huge flaws. 
Other than that, though, I love it. And uh, I do like it better than Sorrow's Regime, but I cannot say that it is better. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. See you guys next time.